It's night and day. Night and day back again, back in the world of... Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Where we're going to take on another Magicite boss. Yes. <laughs> Last one was uh, pretty awesome. Looked pretty cool. And uh, had a really uh, awesome team, it seemed like. Yeah, uh, so this time we're going to go into the Fire Magicite boss. We've got a mostly new team here. Mm. And we're going to do this more conventional way. We're bringing a healer. But um, we're going to go and fight this fiery fiery fire beast demon demon from fiery hell <laughs> we're gonna use the wall roaming warrior thing here the one that raises your defense stats a lot and here she is multi-armed oh. crazy Marilis. Mm. Malaris. Malaris, yeah uh, for some reason as soon as you said that i was like oh a free tier <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's lots of fiery <laughs> Final Fantasy themed people. I mean, a lot of elemental based people, mm -hmm. though, in most of the games. There's gonna be a fire guy. Alright, so we've got Ramza here with the shout to raise up everybody's strength. And now, what we're gonna do here to take this person out, it's not one of the harder Magicites, it's usually considered one of the easier ones. What we're gonna do is take a water team, because that's pretty much what you have to use. And we're going to use the water chain to just do mad damage to her so we can sub 30 her. So her first opening move, just like every four-star Magicite, is to hit you with this move that's like right off the bat before you even have time to do anything. Bam, here's a lot of damage, and now you're weaker to fire than you were before. Mm. So how we're going to handle that is with Rosa, we're going to just Wrath twice with her, and then by the time it's her next turn, she can heal everyone. We've got Ramza, he's shouting, and he's going to also entrust some power to Tidus, so Tidus will be able to use his... Soul Break faster, and he'll be able to start that chain right away. Mustard Bomb to the face for Rosa. Mustard Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Rams are giving that, giving that lovely little... And Rosa has one of the best healing USBs in the game. Instant Speed, Super Heal, Stock HP. Wow. And it blinks a magic attack, so it's really strong. Huh. We've got Edge here, like he was also in the Ixian fight, but he's not going to be... See, that fire magic that Malaris just used was completely whiffed, thanks to Rosa. And now we go into oh, the, dang. the chain! So, if you remember from Ixian, the way the chain works is, it smacks the boss in the face, and that bar at the very top of the screen now means that for a limited time, everybody on the team who does water the more water hits go, that number keeps going up, so the percentage damage keeps multiplied higher and higher. Right, right. So it's definitely like a race against time to uh, put in as much damage as you can. Right. Once that starts now. So you see the clock in the upper left. Most of these Magicite bosses are a race against time already in general, so the mm. chains are the go-to. If you have one, it's much easier to hit that sub-30. Right, right. So... Yeah, so Rose is basically just gonna... Oh, now Bart, it's his turn to jump in. He's gonna jack the chain up and do USB of his own. Dive in oh there. Oh my god. Stab her in the face. <laughs> I love how you have this, like, 8-bit uh, like video style, and then <laughs> those, like, slight little cutscene things just look really badass. Yeah, the soul breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going past the 16-bit with the soul breaks. Yeah. Ooh. That doesn't seem good. Yeah, that one actually got through, but Rosa will have enough to do a full heal again. So. Okay. And now, yeah, oh, Farce's thing, his USB that he used lets him, any water attack he does, or any spellblade attack technically, is now going to have a follow-up attack that hits with even more attacks. Oh, wow. So that's great for building the chain up. The chain's already up to 60 hits, and yeah, now Rosa's already ready to send that healy goodness. Oh, nice. Get smacked oh, wow. and get yeah. healed. <laughs> and that's all the way back up, right? Soon it will be, yeah. Okay. It doesn't mac it doesn't cap you, but with where we were with damage, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And now Bart's again, he does a different soul break. The the way Bart's works is he has four elements that he's really strong with, so they want you to kind of get all of his soul breaks. Okay. I don't have all of them, but I do have the water one combined with 
the one that you saw before. So right. those two together are perfect for this fight. Hmm. And there goes Edge. He has just got a double cast, which means he is a washing machine from hell. <laughs> and she's on the spin cycle, baby. <laughs> I'm definitely not washing delicates. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, cat, like, almost cat damage there. Yeah. And we got the Magicite in there, Kraken, that's the one that we used on our side. Mm. And that put the little water symbol next to Malaris there that says she's even taking more damage from water. That little bubble, right. speech bubble sort of thing. Right, <laughs> she's just thinking about water. <laughs> She's thinking about it with a down arrow, which is good for us. <laughs> so yeah, that's called imperil when the enemy gets an extra weakness to oh. an element. But anyway, yeah, boom, 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 there goes Bart's again. Wow. Now, she also has this last hit where she'll do a physical sword attack as her final move. So even after you kill her and she loses all her HP, she'll get in that last hit. Oh, wow. So we've got that taken care of because Edge, he did his move a little while ago where he gives everybody a physical blink yep now she's like you gonna die I'm taking you with me <laughs> whip <laughs> <laughs> that must be so sad like from her end like, yeah <laughs> her, as her eyes are closing it's like oh I'm taking you down with me and then it's just like oh what happened <laughs> <laughs> she's like that's just so wrong yeah <laughs> So there you go. Just like that. Sub 30. Again, if you've got the chain breaks, it's pretty easy to sub 30 most of these guys. Mm. So with with this team specifically, the only one who's actually legend dive is is Edge, who we also had on the Ixian fight. Mm -hmm. It is easier if you have Tidus legend dived or Bart's legend dived, but I didn't go and go, go to that extent with yeah. like that because the, the modes for that are really rare. Mm. But if you say don't have one of these things, you don't have one of their soul breaks, that sort of thing, but you can compensate for that by going through the legend dive. So there's a little bit of flexibility. Mm -hmm. There's not too much if you want to go for a sub 30. Okay. But um, there is definite flexibility in the party makeup. If you're lacking some of the abilities, then you can go in legend dive extra characters. That gives them double attack sort of thing. You mm -hmm. can make more abilities, hone more abilities that are more powerful, that sort of thing. Um, and as the game progresses, it's, it becomes continually easier to sub-30 because more and more powerful abilities are released. Right. So it right. gets more flexible as it goes. Mm. So here's the team. We get Tidus from Final Fantasy X. He's got the chain. I don't have his other good stuff for the most part, like his BSB2 and his USB. He can be a one-man water army <laughs> in this game. But I don't have any of that. So <laughs> I got the chain and... No legend dive, that's all I pretty much need for him. Here's Ramza, he's here to shout, make everybody stronger and faster. Here's good old Edge. He, he do, he do. He does have water boosting equipment in both slots. Edge does and Bart's does. Titus has in one slot. And yeah, here's good old Bart's. He happens to borrow Titus' sword to help oh, get the job okay. done. Yeah, and then so for each one of these fights, you have to basically like customize based on the boss. Right. Like it has to be okay. If it's water resistance and it's a water boss, you're gonna have to go something totally like totally different team as well as totally different equipment and everything like that. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, most of Record Keeper once you get to end game, it's like a, an intense strategy against super bosses. Right. A lot of Final Fantasy games have super bosses at the end mm. of the game that are optional past the normal limitations of the game. If you fight them with the normal equipment that you would have at the end of the game, they just wipe the floor with you. Okay. And Record Keeper, once you get to a certain point, that's the whole game. Like, mm. it's all super difficult super bosses that are not all super difficult, there's different tiers. Right, right. So, there's different levels of challenge. Yeah, there's a lot of customizing and Outfitting, giving your characters different equipment, different abilities, combine, using different characters together, switching the party up. So if you're into that sort of strategy thing, then Record Keeper is an awesome time. It's right. a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like it requires you to not only be really well versed in the game and uh, like know everyone, everyone's advantages and disadvantages, but also like how do they interact with each other and how can you manipulate the team to really give yourself the best chance of 
not only a win, but winning in the fastest time possible. Yeah, exactly. But here's the Magisite we use. We've got, um, this isn't even the best possible Magisite you can use for this. If you have Evray, who's a holy Magisite, it has um, Power Surge or Surging Power, something like that. Some ability that gives you a damage bonus based on your HP being higher. Oh, okay. It's, it's very useful for any for most physical teams. Mm -hmm. So I did not have that at this point, but I did get that uh, Magisite later. Yeah, I'm using three-star Magisite here, this Enki garbage at the bottom. <laughs> and bottoms well in the middle here so you, there's definite ways to get this even better than so even if you're missing some of what I do have you can compensate for that with what I didn't have mm -hmm. better magicite uh, potentially better gear better legend dives that sort of thing right. but if you are interested in this sort of low legend dive sort of run then this run could potentially be helpful for you I mean this is again one of the easier four star magicites mm -hmm. Chances are most people are not looking for a tutorial for this, but, you know, throw that out there, at least show you what I did, in case it is helpful to you. Right, right. Never know when you'll... Especially if you want to do, like, a challenge or something like that with a totally different team that you're not used to. At least it gives you an opportunity to see what other people are doing. So, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, the main draw of this game, again, is just being able to combine different Final Fantasy characters from a whole bunch of different games and making a party out of them. So if it is a super nostalgia trip for you because you're familiar with the games and the characters, then it's so much fun to have Titus and Edge and Bart's team up to just absolutely brutally whip some guy's ass. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that could never happen before. They're all from separate games. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun from that perspective. So much so that nostalgia being such a heavy focus of the game that I wouldn't even recommend it if you haven't played the other games because there's story spoilers and that sort of things in this game. Oh, wow. Okay. So, if you have played the other games, then obviously it's an awesome nostalgia trip. And if you haven't, there's still value in it as a really fun strategy game mm -hmm. versus a lot of high-end super bosses. Right. Although it does lose a lot of value if, if you're missing out on that nostalgia and it does have the potential to, to give you those spoilers. So I would definitely recommend playing the normal games first, right. then you enjoy this one a hell, hell of a lot more. Right, yeah. For sure. I mean, j just me playing Dissidia before this, um, and now seeing a couple different videos and strategies for this. I even have like some attachment to some of these characters that I haven't even played their game before, just based on the stories that like we've talked about and seeing them in Dissidia and stuff like that. So definitely opens up the world a little bit more. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Indeed, we will see you guys in the next one.